Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and I'm the founder and owner of Techies Nup. And today I'm gonna show you how to dispute a uh, copyright notice on YouTube. Now, as far as things goes, this is not gonna show you how to go around the system or something like that. This is just showing you if you do have the legal rights or if they've made a mistake, then you can get you know you can get your video back up and, and whatnot. Now, as far as things goes, you should, if you did receive a copyright notice, you should have received an email. And if you hadn't, well, check this once in a while, and um, and you'll see something like this if there is something up. Now, this one I acknowledge, and it didn't give me a strike because I acknowledged it. But the uh, match third-party content, I um. I have the legal rights for that, so what it is, click that button right there. In fact, I can show you. It takes you there. But anyways, it tells you what song by whom is uh, is within the notice, and you can hear it in the background. Here we go. So you can hear that in the background, and um, yeah, I, I have that, but I have rights to it. So what I would do is go to Dispute, and uh, try to find, I mean, here's all the things you can dispute, but since I have a license and written permission, it's really supposed to be royalty free stuff, so I should be able to do that, do that, that, and how do I get the license for this? Well, it's through Audio Micro. Audio Micro gives you a royalty free music list. They somehow own it and you can get licensed through them by just having a membership. If you are with free full screen uh, network or Maker Studio Network, RPM, or many of the other networks, they have a membership through here, and you can use them to get this stuff for free. And that, that's that's why I would do it to if I was you. So as far as this, this is this song. Give it a second or two. So I mean, it's the exact same song. So what I would do is go back to here and write something out and I will be right back. All right, and so basically as you see here, in fact, let me take a narrow look at this, make sure I got everything here. Pretty much what I have is an explanation on where I got it through Maker Studio, being a part of Audio Micro. Um, again, if you're with full screen or RPM, Maker Studio, I think Meshima too. Uh, there's many of these YouTube networks you will have right or should have rights with Audio Micro. They, they have paid memberships and they just give them out to you as long as you're under them. So, the, um, I have it listed here. This song's called This by This. And here's a link to it on the first search, which I showed you. And then here's a link to the Audio Micro um, license page. And i um, show you that real quick, which is, you know, just click right there. And I'm not going to go through it, but they can go through it if they want. And I disputed a song a while back like this and it worked and the reason why it worked is because i got legal rights to use it so next after you fill this out you click that and then you just type out your name your your real legal name and that way you can press continue and then this will come up and submit dispute and yes. Alright, and um, 
I forgot if you get a email or or uh, something. Usually you get some type of notification saying they looked at it and everything's good. So there might be a chance that there is you don't get an email. So that's something to keep in mind. But what happens in the meantime, the uh, this shows up right here. And this basically says you disputed it. Uh, before it said matched, it basically said the same thing as it would have right there. And, um, you know, you can click on either one and you can look at it. And you're, you're just waiting on the details. It, uh, the last time that this happened, it took around, I, I would say, a, a better half of two to three days. So give it a week, maybe two, and, um, and it shouldn't be a big problem. And uh, it's one thing to note is if you're not doing a lot of views on it, then, then I wouldn't worry too much about it. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, if they do find something, I, I guess it'll count as a strike or something. I, I'm not really sure. But um, with this, I can actually fight it. And if they do try to force it again, which won't happen, but if it out of blue does, I can get um, Audio Micro and Maker Studio, but more so Audio Micro because it is their song. So I don't even really need my network to do it. But I can get Auto Mo Audio Micro to help me out on this and they will they will help sell it and um, get rid of the claim, which most likely won't happen. And for those of you who are wondering, how is this um, copyright stuff work as far as how they find something copyright? Well, YouTube, had, really Google, has a database of a lot of songs and, and whatnot. And with that, they um, they search, uh, they, they just do an audio scan of, of videos. Sometimes it takes a long time, but they do audio scans of videos. And with that, what happens is if something's triggered, like you just saw it there, then you'll get a notification and it'll start this process is an automatic process from here when you dispute it someone somewhere sees it so before now no one really saw it because there's no point because let's put it this way if it's something like this where i really didn't have the rights to it and um it's the intro to the star wars stuff i, I acknowledge it fine I didn't have a lot of rights to it, didn't think I needed a rights to it, but you know what. And um, it just said, no, we're just going to block it in some countries, and that's it. So yeah, I, I don't know why, but you know, I didn't, I didn't have rights to it, so whatever. So anyways, uh, if you got any questions on this, then feel free to leave them in the comment section, or you can email me on YouTube or on techfusionhelp.com. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you ever have problems with copyright notices, um, something that you might want to add in here or whatnot, then let everybody know in the comment section. And that way, people can use that to their advantage or or whatever, and um, and go from there. So, anyways, this has been Craig Bennett, the founder and owner of Tech Reviews and Help, and I hope you have a great day.